I'm James Walsh, I'm an ecologist and an author and I'm here to promote my new book The Northern Greenhouse Volume 1, a book that attempts to set out a new vision of the north of England creating bridges between communities, business, conservation, politics and activism and balancing ecology and economy. We are in a new geological epoch, the Anthropocene, and we are also in the era of the Paris Agreement. Whilst many experts such as Christina Figueres have given humanity just three years to save the world from catastrophic climate change, the environment of the north of England is currently under attack from property developers, frackers and huge corporations. Our roads seem to be more like car parks these days. Events happening in the Antarctic and the Arctic are highly disturbing, whilst mainstream media seems to cover selective extreme weather events without informing the general public of the real facts. The Conservative government's environmental plan seems to be just a parrot. We plan to leave the planet in a better state than we found it, just a soundbite, and hope for the best. With no real plan for climate change or a clean air plan in sight, and we continue to wait with less and less patience for the greenest government ever that we were promised more than five years ago. Just over two years ago, David Cameron and George Osborne announced plans for a so-called Northern Powerhouse in the north of England. However, when you look at the plans for the Northern Powerhouse, there seems to be no consideration whatsoever for climate change and the environment. In the book, I have made a 10-point critique and appraisal of the Northern Powerhouse. Number one, it recognises the need to balance the North-South divide. Number two, the Northern Powerhouse brand has promoted the North worldwide. Number three, the Northern Powerhouse has got people talking about the North. Number four, the business community in the North is now more motivated. Number five, many projects have no public consultation and no social licence. Number six, the Northern Powerhouse does not recognise climate change. Number seven, the Northern Powerhouse conferences have been criticised for the dear price of tickets and the lack of diversity. Eight, as a result, in reaction, civil society has mobilised in the North. Number nine, alternative events are, have been and are being organised. And number ten, people power is now neutralising corporate and political power. The Northern Greenhouse Project is a reaction to these factors and a holistic approach to the North that gives the environment and the economy equal parity of esteem. So, is there an alternative to the current model of capitalism? Some say that we can't have growth and look after the environment, but is there a way we can achieve jobs and growth and live in harmony with nature? Is there a way we can solve the housing crisis and save the green belt land at the same time? Can we move on from grey to green? Can we build a new world from the ashes of the old? 
can we take advice from Naomi Klein's new book, No Is Not Enough, and move beyond protesting about what we don't want and show a vision of what we do want? Can the environmental movement work with the business community and can we keep the Northern Lights on and respect the environment? Can we have a green business revolution and what might it look like? What are the real jobs of the future? In some ways the book is a people's manifesto, in some ways it's a discussion paper introducing themes such as eco-tourism, renewable energy, sustainable agriculture, breathe clean air and save the green belt. The Northern Greenhouse, A New Vision of the North, Volume 1, is available now on Amazon Kindle. We stand at a vital junction in the road for humanity, and future generations will judge us on the direction that we now take. In this book, I have attempted to address the biggest issue of our time, how we care for our environment. The future is in all our hands, and I hope that this book can encourage you to be a future maker. The future is your choice.